The total energy in special relativity is the combination of kinetic energy plus mass energy. Previously we've seen in the form that mass energy is a form of energy since we could convert the binding energy of a system into a change in mass. We've seen that in hydrogen or we've seen that in nuclear systems like deuterium where pulling the objects apart, in other words converting or losing that binding energy actually changed the mass of the system. Therefore we need to factor this kind of energy into the total energy of a particle. And we write that the total energy is the kinetic energy plus the mass energy, which works out to be that E is equal to gamma mc squared. In the homework, I'm going to ask you to show that the formula for this formula for energy, along with the relationship for momentum, which is gamma beta mc, implies that E squared is equal to momentum squared plus mass squared for the particle, with lots of factors of c in there. That's an important formula. Both formulae here in boxes are important formulae for you to remember. You'll want to use these formula to remember ways to get the beta and gamma of a particle. Using the first box formula, you can write down that gamma is just equal to E over mc squared. So anytime you know the energy and you know the mass of a particle, you can get its gamma. Using the formula for beta, momentum over here and noticing it's got a beta in it, you can get that the velocity of a particle is just its momentum times c over its energy. So as v goes up to c and the particle gets closer and closer to the speed of light, notice that pc approaches e, which is not surprising given the other box formula over here, that e squared is p squared plus m squared. The above formula are any valid for any particle but notice for photons, which have a mass equal to zero, we'll have the special cases of E equals PC, and we'll have the case of beta equals one. E equals PC happens because the mass is zero in this boxed equation, and then as a result, when I write down my formula for beta, it equals one. But notice for photons, there are some things that don't make any sense. You can't go back to the formula for momentum and say it's gamma beta mc because mass is zero and since v equals c for a photon, gamma is becoming infinite. So the product of an infinite number and zero gives me a finite number and we just don't think of it that way. We just think of what is the momentum of the photon or what is the energy of the photon which we can measure and we just know that it's at beta is one.